Hi everyone, this is Teacher Mel. Today we are going to illustrate a relation and a function. So a relation is a set of ordered pairs of real numbers. Ang domain naman, it is a relation it, wherein it is the set of all first coordinates of the ordered pairs or ito yung tinatawag na x values. Well, the range naman of the relation is the set of all second coordinates of the ordered pairs which is called the y values. Okay, so yung domain is the first set ng coordinates ng isang ordered pair. Ang range naman, ito yung second coordinates ng ordered pairs. I have here the representations of relations. So aside from ordered pairs, a relation may be represented in four other ways. Using table, mapping diagram, graph, and a rule. Okay, let's have here our example. Given the set of ordered pairs, draw a mapping, table values, graph, and generate a rule. Okay, so kanina na-define natin kung ano yung domain at ano yung range. Sabi natin, ang domain natin is the first set ng coordinates sa isang ordered pairs. Tapos ang range naman natin is the second coordinates ng ating ordered pairs. So, ibig sabihin, yung ating blue one, the color blue numbers is our domain. And then, the color green, based from our representation, that is our range. The second coordinates ng ating ordered pairs. Okay. So, ang gagawin natin is we need to draw a mapping. Okay. Magdodraw tayo ng mapping given yung set of ordered pairs that we have. Okay. So, ang gagawin natin, we write first our x and then our y values. So, ang ating x values is we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Ang ating y values naman, meron tayong 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. So, using mapping, ang gagawin natin, imamap lang natin siya. So, based from our given, the partner ng 1 ay 2. Okay, so when x is 1, ang ating y ay 2. Or kapag ang domain natin ay 1, ang kanyang range ay 2. So, 1, imamap natin sa 2. Yung 2 is to 4. 3 is to 6. 4 is to 8. 5 is to 10. So, ito na yung mapping natin. Given the set of ordered pairs, ganito natin siya imamap. Okay. Next naman is we need to create a table values. Gagawa tayo ng table values. Okay. So, pwede natin gawing vertical or pwede namang horizontal. So, ano yung x values natin? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. At ang ating y ay 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Ibig sabihin, when x is 1, ang y natin ay 2. Based from the ordered pairs. Kapag ang x natin ay 2, ang ating y ay 4. Okay? Kaya magpartner sila. So, kapag ang y natin ay 6, ang x naman natin ay 3. Pero kapag ang x natin ay 4, ang value ng ating y ay 8. 5, and that is 10. So, kung isusulat din natin horizontally, it would be like this. Okay? So, when, one, when x is 1, y is 2. When x is 2, y is 4. And so on. So, ganun lang natin siya isusulat using table values. Okay? Okay. Sumunod naman ay using graph. Iga-graph natin siya. So, based from our coordinates, when x is 1, ang ating y daw ay 2. So, when x is 1, y is 2, so it's here. Second one, second coordinates, when x is 2, ang ating y ay 4. Okay. Dito siya. So, next naman, eto naman, kapag ang x natin ay 3, ang ating y daw ay 6. So, it's, it's here. Next, kapag ang x natin ay 4, ang ating y ay 8. Okay. Diyan siya. Next, if our y is 10, ang ating x ay 5. Okay, so ganun lang natin siya, i-graph. Okay, so we plot the points 
uh, the ordered pairs in the coordinate system. Okay? At ang ating last one, kailangan natin mag-generate ng rule based from the set of ordered pairs. Okay? So, mapapansin natin that the value of y is the product of 2 and the value of x. Okay? So, mapapansin natin na yung value daw ng y ay product siya kapag minultiply natin ang 2 sa value ng x. Okay? So, 2 times 1, kanyang partner is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Okay? 2 times 3 ay 6. So, ibig sabihin, yung value ng y is just the product of 2 and the value ng ating x. In other words, uh, pwede natin siyang i-describe by this equation. y is equal to 2 times x, where x is an integer from 1 to 5. Okay? Now, let's define what is a function. So, a function is a relation in which element of the domain is paired with exactly one element of range. The element of the first set that the corresponds to exactly one element of the second set is what we call a function. Now, let's go deeper. Okay, so we have here types of functions. The first one is injective or one-to-one -one function. What do we mean by one-to-one -one function? Pag sinabi natin one-to-one -one function, ibig sabihin, each element of set A paired with exactly one element of set B. Okay. So, sa set A, kung meron tayong 1, 2, 3, sa set B naman, meron tayong 3, 5, 7, ang ibig sabihin lang ng 1 to 1 function, bawat element sa set A, dapat may pair siya sa set B na exactly 1 element. So, kung meron tayong 1, we have 3 sa set B, 2, 5, 3, and 7. If we are going to relate this one to real life, for example, sa set A, meron tayong person 1, person 2, person 3. Sa set B naman, nandun ang kanilang mga cellphone number. Ibig sabihin, bawat person, meron silang corresponding cellphone number. Okay? Sa person 1 at saka sa person 2, magkaiba sila ng cellphone number. Sa person 1, may sarili siyang cellphone number. Sa person 2, may sarili siyang cellphone number. Si person 3, may sarili siyang cellphone number. Ibig sabihin, one-to-one -one function. Bawat person sa set A, meron silang exactly cellphone number nila na para lang sa kanila. Next is we have the many-to-one function. Pag sinabi natin many-to-one function maps two or more elements of set A to the same element of set B. Example, Sa set A, we have 1, 2, 3. Sa set B, we have 3, 5, 7. Pag many-to-one function, partner ni 1 is 5. Ang partner ni 2, si 5 din. And ang partner ni 3 ay si 7. Okay. So, paano ba natin marirelate sa real life ang many-to-one function? Parang ganito lang yon. Si person 1 tsaka si person 2 magkapatid. At isa lang ang kanilang mother, si number 5 lamang. Okay? So, that is many to one function. Many kasi si person 1, tsaka si person 2, to 1, isa lang ang kanilang mother, which is si 5. And then we have, si 3 naman ay si 7. 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 7. Tinawag siya na many to one function kasi si 1 and 2, isa lang ang kanilang partner. Okay? Si 5. Now we have the onto function. Pag sinabi naman natin onto function, every element in set A, there exists an element in set B which maps to it. Example, we have for set A, we have 1, 2, 3. For letter B, we have 3 and 5. 1 maps to 3. 2 maps to 5. 3 maps to 5. 
So, bakit siya tinawag na onto function? Tinawag siya na onto function kasi lahat ng elements sa set B are used. Okay? So, kung lahat ng elements sa set B ay nagamit, ibig sabihin, may partner sila sa set A, ibig sabihin, that's an onto function. Okay? Thank you everyone. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please free to comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more math videos. Once again, this is Teacher Mel.